Hey guys, welcome to the rebuild of the OS Max SF40. This is a ringed version of the motor, and it is one of the best OS lines out there. Having this uh, SF is better than the FX series, and most people even believe it's uh, better than the AX series. Uh, the SF is a excellent motor, and uh, this 40 size is perfect for a any 40 sized airplane. Uh, it's a ball bearing motor, and it uh, is probably what a vintage mid 80s, late 80s. Uh, the SF line was out right before the FX series. I bought this uh, beautiful specimen from RC Groups. It was about uh, 20 bucks plus shipping and PayPal fees and stuff, so it wasn't too bad. Um, I think it's because it uh, wasn't too pretty looking. Um, because you can probably get some finer looking uh, older motors for pretty good prices out there. Um, so this one I think has been in for sale a while. But uh, as we take off the head, you can see it uh, looks pretty good in there. Um, it's not all charred up and nasty. We do notice here the uh, rear cover is on upside down. So somebody goes in here and uh, didn't quite put it together uh, correctly. Unless that's their style of running it. But we're trying to pop it off here uh, nice and easily, just in case uh, the seal is good. But obviously the seal is toasted. Time for a new one. But we're just noting here a little bit of pry marks on the uh, back cover from previous removals. But overall, the uh, sealing surface looks like it's in great shape. Here I'm checking to see if we can move the connecting rod back and forth. And I'm making note there that it uh, did pop out a little bit. Um, that way it's not all gummed up on the wrist pin at the top of the piston because we need to be able to slide that back and forth to get the piston and sleeve out. I'm gathering my uh, workbench prop here so we can uh, rotate the, uh, the assembly and push the sleeve out after we heat it up. It's a nice old pusher prop. Here I'm firing up the heat gun to get the engine pretty warm here. We'll get a nice uh, popsicle stick just to get the uh, liner to pop up a hair. Now I'm off camera, just getting it propped up the rest of the way. Pull it out with a, a towel here because it's pretty hot, but not screaming hot. Didn't need to get it too, too cooked. I'm just trying to get the piston out. Came out pretty easy off the uh, crankshaft. Always use a uh, pulley puller here with this style. Um, you don't want to use a press to press this uh, out. You just make a mess of things. These pullers are like 10 bucks on uh, AliExpress or eBay or something. As they say, the usual suspects. So it's well worth it if you deal with any of these motors just to buy one of those. It's a uh, required toolkit for any... Uh, any older motor of this style. And I think all of them did it, like Thunder Tiger and um, all the other brands of motors. They had that kind of, you need to use a pulley puller to pull it off. Now I'm just checking the bearings here. The bearings were pretty choppy, but again, if you're taking it all apart, yeah, just throw new ones in there. It's not worth it to ruin a nice motor like this just because of... Uh... Oh, I remembered to put it out into the uh, view of the uh, camera. Yeah, you don't want to ruin a motor because of some old bearings. It's just uh... it's just asking for trouble and a waste of time. You know, so you, s you spend all this time rebuilding a motor, putting in new seals or something else, and just your time is worth it to spend the extra $10 on the on the bearings. So... Here I'm using the propeller to prop the uh, piston up. I might want to make some uh, nylon half pipes with a hole in the bottom. You see, you can picture that just so I can rest that uh, piston in there. So it has a good surface contact. But that's next project. For now, I just use a nylon propeller and use a little punch. Just a couple taps here to get it started. And it pulls right out, so no problem. 
get all my pieces back together. The carb is uh, pretty gummed up. The old ring shot. We're going to need a new one of those.
there we are, ready for a flight. Look at everything works nice and smooth. So the next uh, video will be this on a test stand. See how well she runs after that rebuild. New bearings. It's good to go. Thank you for watching.